Hey YouTube, back one final time this week, I think. Maybe. Uh, I'm smoking or the golden slice. I'm about third of the way through this bowl. It's the first time I ever smoked it. And it's just gonna be a my thoughts on it sort of video. Uh, for starters, there's hardly any wind out here, but the wind that is out here is like blowing very slowly in my face. So when I take a puff and exhale, it's coming back and going up my nose. So this stuff is really irritating my sinuses. It's good though. Um, anyways, out of the tin, this stuff smells amazing. I bought this because I know like it's one of the holy grail tobaccos for a lot of people. A lot of people love this. Say it's their desert island tobacco. Or EDC tobacco in some cases if they have good if they have enough money for an EDC tobacco that costs as much as a lot of golden slice. But it comes in nice thick flakes. Perfect moisture. Perfect moisture. The flakes are the right thickness, so they're easy to rub out. If you do that, I'm actually a fold and stuffer, so I fold the flakes and roll them up and shove them in there and just kind of push down the top. Worked well for that. I'm still very new to flakes. So, I'm probably screwing many things up with them. Um, I love the tin note. On this and on Sam Gowett's Full Virginia. Just that, like, strong, almost raisin flavor, or smell you get. So good. Mm. I'm drinking uh, lemon lime Gatorade, if you're wondering. Now, on the actual flavor of tobacco, I don't know if it's just because I don't have a refined palate when it comes to Virginia's in particular. Well, pipe tobacco, really, but Virginia's are where I, I you know, don't, I don't know what I'm doing with Virginia's. They're so mild, and I'm so used to uh, the heaviness of like cigars or um, or a lot of Kia blend, English blends, which is why I bought a bunch of Virginia's in my last order from Pipes and Cigars, including this one. Flavor, yeah. I'll be honest, like, I'm not getting. And again, this could just be me. I'm not getting a ton of flavor out of this. Give another white. See, now the wind blows. I mean, take a shot at it. There's definitely some hay. A lot of hay. Mainly hay. Oh, hello. I don't usually retrohale. I find that's kind of unnecessary in many cases with many pipe tobaccos. It just means you get irritated with sinuses. Anyways, 
Um, I'll show you what I just looked at in a second. Uh, but retrohaling this is like intensely citrusy. Like grapefruit. I don't get it in my mouth. Well, if I retrohale, that's like all I get. Whew. I wish my sinuses could take more retrohaling. Because that is delicious. My god, I might have to start retrohaling more. What have I missed? Now I want to go get some full Virginia flake and try retrohaling that. In other news about this tobacco, nicotine. I'm pretty resilient to the old nicotine. But, uh... Sorry, it's like 100 degrees out here, and I'm in the shade, so whatever. Uh, normally, I don't notice nicotine hits unless it's something like, uh, I don't know, nightcap. I'll notice nightcap. Can't not notice nightcap. For this, I'm definitely getting a nicotine buzz. This is definitely going to go in my bag this week. But I'm not going to smoke it on my lunch breaks because if this nicotine buzz that I feel like I'm feeling is like a legit nicotine buzz from this tobacco, that's just a bit too heavy for me to want to go back to work and have to think. Well, kind of think. I'm a cashier. I'm a cashier at one job, and I sell computers to people that don't know anything about computers at the other job. I don't need to think too hard. God damn, on the retro ale, that is so good. Holy shit. Anyways, before I leave you, this is what I was looking at. That's my girlfriend's dog. It's nice and sunny over there. She has absolutely no reason to lay over there. There's places with the sun out. Well, she's not laying in nose. She's not hot. She grew up in Texas. Dog only knows this weather. I like me. Yankee here. Anyways. <clears throat> I look forward to smoking more of this. And I look forward to getting to, to the Dark Strong if this is this good. Which is funny, because until I tried to retro it, I didn't think it was good. Yeah, look forward to a review of this next week. Because I am going to be smoking enough of it to give you a review, I promise you that. Till then, see you guys later.